folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I want to cover a very popular topic, which is how to maximize your testosterone levels. Uh, I get a lot of questions on that, and of course it's uh, a major concern mostly to men, but still to women. Um, I see on the, on the forums a lot people talking about, you know, my testosterone is low, or I think my testosterone low is low, which of course is two different issues altogether, but for another video and uh, I need a testosterone booster. Uh, which one should I take? And that is a major mistake right there because looking for the magic pill, uh, testosterone booster to you know, fix all your problems there is, is your mistake right there. There's a lot of reasons people can have uh, low testosterone uh, ranging from diet, training, um, micronutrient uh, uh, problems, for example. Uh, Low-fat diets suck for testosterone levels. Uh, studies have found that uh, about 30% uh, of your calories should come from fat to optimize testosterone. And uh, there were some studies that found even uh, in graded uh, percents, 10%, 20%, 30%, and so on, testosterone levels climbed. What they found was that, however, 30 seemed to be about as high as it got. That is, beyond 30, there were no additional benefits. So that actually fits right in line with uh, most dietary recommendations, but you get a lot of people on low-fat diets, uh, that is real hard on testosterone levels. Uh, for example, look at your training. Uh, endurance training, a lot of endurance training is very hard on testosterone levels and endurance athletes, uh, marathon runners and stuff, uh, notoriously studies find they have low testosterone. And certainly overtraining, a lot of people overtrain. Again, do you uh, fashion your workouts where you adjust for volume and intensity? Do you take uh, deloading periods? Do you take time off? So on and so on. Uh, those are all areas to look as to why you might have low testosterone. Um, certainly micronutrient deficiencies are, are not as common as maybe sellers of those products would like you to believe, but still, uh, you know, zinc deficiency, magnesium deficiencies, other deficiencies uh, could possibly be an issue. So, you know, make sure, of course, you're getting a good multivitamin. Uh, so there's a lot of places to look as to why you might have low testosterone. Uh, for example, in the fat, uh, studies actually suggest it's not just any type of fat, that there needs to be uh, a bit of uh, saturated fat in your diet. So what I usually recommend to people, I have always recommended, is what I call the one-third rule. And that is, of your 30%, uh, one-third should come from polyunsaturates, uh, mainly omega-3s, a third should come from monounsaturates, which is uh, olive oil, that type of thing, and a third would come a saturated fat from naturally occurring in your diet from, uh, let's say, lean red meats, egg yolks, that type of thing. So this is the type of thing that you know I teach in my Bodybuilding Revealed program. People need to learn this stuff. Uh, there's a lot of articles uh, on my website if you want to learn about testosterone, the benefits, uh, some ways of possibly raising it, lowering it. Uh, on to testosterone boosters. Before you send me emails or, or post, um, Check out basically the videos on my white, uh, uh, YouTube page. Sorry, I'm blanking. My YouTube page on my opinion of testosterone boosters. I also have a lengthy article on the Brink Zone discussing testosterone boosters before you, you know, even go there. But before you bother with that, look into your own program, your nutrition, your training. Uh, sleep is another one. Uh, people that don't get adequate sleep, uh, uh, booze. If you're if you are drinking a lot, uh, can also be an issue of testosterone levels. Again, not moderate, but uh, heavy booze intake, uh, various medications. Again, there's too many to list, so you'd have to go look into it. But first, process of elimination to see why you might have low testosterone. It also could just simply, of course, be due to age, not knowing what your age is. And, and it definitely does drop as, as we age in our 20s, and our 30s, and our 40s. And if that's the case with you, then you're better off going to see uh, a doctor trying to maximize your own testosterone levels through, as I said, uh, diet, nutrition, and so on and so on. But at some point, sometimes our testosterone levels get to the point where we need outside uh, help, and that's another issue for another day. But I hope this uh, information helped, and if you did, please hit the like buttons, Twitter, all that, share it, and uh, I'll see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com, where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.